Hi there and welcome to our 10 minute Pilates glute workout. In this sequence we're going to work on strengthening of all the gluteal muscles and also on stability around the core and around the pelvis. So we're going to start off lying on our backs for a little warm up. We're going to take a moment just to get ourselves down. You can pop your head on the floor, make sure there's nothing underneath your head or your neck. We're going to start with our knees bent and our feet flat on the mat. Just ensure that your legs are hip distance apart and your hips, your knees, your ankles are all in line. We'll start then with a really gentle warm up for our lower backs and all the muscles around the waist. We're going to start by bringing the pelvic bones forwards and downwards, bringing our pelvis into an anterior tilt. And then as we exhale, we'll go in the opposite direction, imprinting that lower back into the mat in a posterior tilt. So let's do this a couple of times. So we'll move forwards and downwards with the pelvic bone and then exhale out through the mouth, coming all the way back keeping the knees nice and steady so we don't want any wobble across the legs as we move forwards and then all the way backwards again keeping your head your neck your collarbone everything nice and relaxed through the upper body we'll aim for one more tilt forward or an anterior direction and then we'll come all the way backwards into imprint from here then let's start to exhale out through the mouth and we want to lift the sit bones off the mat first then lift your lower back the mid back and we're getting all the way up into shoulder bridge. As you exhale then, we're gonna lower down bone by bone by bone, all the way back down to the starting point. Let's repeat this a couple of times to help warm up through the spine and across the pelvis. We're peeling up vertebrae by vertebrae at the top, inhale. And as you exhale, we'll lower back down again. As you're lifting and lowering, we're trying to make sure that our knees are not wobbling and the pelvis is staying completely level. So you want the right and the left side of your pelvis to stay level. Have a little look down at it if you like and lower back down. Just visualize or imagine your spine moving vertebrae by vertebrae. So you want to lift and lower vertebrae by vertebrae on the way up and also again on the way down. To challenge your stability a little bit more here, so to challenge that balance a little bit more here as we warm up, you can take your hands into the air, which might make you feel a little more wobbly as you lift and lower, so you need to work a little harder to control it. Let's do one more, making sure the feet are flat, the knees are bent. We're gonna stay up this time, ensuring that the chest is relaxed, the hips are level, and let's lower both hips down, hover over the mat, exhale, push back up, lower down, hover, exhale, push down and up let's move a little faster down and up down and up probably starting to feel it now working through your glutes um, and through your hamstrings as we push right back up here into hip extension really working through the glute max muscles and the hamstrings lifting up and drop as you're pushing back up again try and think about drawing your sit bones together and just helping those glutes to engage a little bit more. They're gonna work anyway. Um, push them down and up. Let's go for two more. You can keep your hands up for that extra challenge around the waist and on our pelvic stability, or put your hands back down. When we're up, let's stay up. Again, have a look, two sides of your pelvis level. We're gonna dip one side down, just one side, and then push back up. Let's go with the other side. Dip down and push back up, continuing down and up down and up a big thing to watch out for here is what's happening with your knees so as you lower on one side try and keep your knees where they are so we don't want to lower and sort of have this happening we want to lower and just keep the knee where it is and that will really help you to fire through all of those muscles through the glutes and the hamstrings and they're going to work anyway as we extend the hips let's exhale push down, exhale, push, keep the neck, the chest, the ribs, really relax, let's go for three, and lift, two, and lift, last one, and lift, and we'll lower all the way back down, lovely, so we should be nice and warmed up now, through all those muscle groups, and across the core, let's get ready then, we're going to turn onto our side, and we're going to come up onto our elbow then, so we'll get our elbow under our shoulder, we'll lift the rib cage up away from the mat, you want to lift your waist away from the mat, and then we want to have our feet together, our knees together, and our hips are stacked, take your free hand here up onto the top uh, hip, 
and we just want to make sure that we stay level here all the time. We're going to start by inhaling to prepare and on our exhale let's lift the top leg up and drop, lift and drop. So we're into our clam at level one. So now we're going to work into some of the gluteal muscles um, that abduct the hip. So in particular the glute med uh, muscle here at the side of the hip and also just working into these hip abductor muscles in general here. You're lifting the waist away from the mat. So that's going to take um, us into working a little bit on our stability. Uh, again, like lying down, we were trying not to wobble. But now you're working a little bit more here through the core, through the waist, just to keep us in this lovely posture. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Exhale. Inhale. That's it. Working into that deep uh, part of the hip, the outside of the hip. Let's lift and drop, lift and drop. It's kind of an endurance exercise, this one as well. So you can do a good couple of reps here until you feel the area getting fatigued. Let's go for three and two and one. Well done. Staying in this position with that extra challenge through the core and waist. If, if you like, you can lie down, which I'll show you in a minute. Let's float the top leg up. We want to keep our knee bent. The hip is our lever, so keep your knee bent. We're going to come forward and then exhale to push back. Let's come forward and then exhale to push back. Working still through the waist, through the core to keep us stable here as you come forward and back. As I said, you can make this easier if you want. So if you want to take the challenge away from the core and waist a little bit, come down onto your side and do the exercise here and it'll help you just to focus a bit more onto the hips. So we're inhaling and exhaling. And you can see I'm keeping my knee bent and my ankle still as well. So all of this is coming from here. Your hip is your lever. The hip joint is the lever. Trying to keep as stable as possible through the waist um, as best that you can. So forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Let's go for three more. Forward and back, two more, forward and back, one more, forward and back. We're going to do another set and we're going to make it a little more challenging. So we're going to lengthen our lever to make that a little bit more of a challenge, particularly around the waist. Let's start off in neutral here with the leg in line with the top hip and we're going to inhale as we move forward, exhale as we move back. Inhale as we move forward, exhale as we move back. If you're a beginner, lie on your side like this. Um, and really focus, even though the hip is probably starting to burn a little bit and get quite fatigued, focus on here, focus on your waist. Are you keeping those two hips level and stacked or are you falling forwards and backwards? So try and work on that stability. If you're more intermediate advanced level, then I would say definitely come back up onto that elbow for that extra bit of a core challenge. Forward and back, you should definitely be feeling it now. Forward and back, let's do one more. Forward and back, and drop it down. Well done, give those hip muscles a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a shake out. Let's do all of that on the other side. So move yourself down your mat, swap to the other side, lie on the hips that you just worked, and we'll get ourselves into position. So elbow under the shoulder, feet together, knees together, hips are stacked, you're completely over on your side. We're lifting the waist away from the floor, lengthening through the head and neck, and off we go with our clam at level one. Lift and drop, lift and drop. So the real beauty of these Pilates exercises is you can modify them very, very easily to make them maybe a little harder or a little bit easier. So again, to make it easier, lie down on your side and just take that challenge away from the arms and shoulders and a little bit away from the, the waist. Lift and drop, lift and drop, add the breath. <sighs> Trying to make sure you're completely on your side, just double check, give yourself a little bit of feedback, double check those things every now and again. Lift and drop, lift and drop, let's go a little bit faster, really working on that endurance. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, one and drop. We're going to stay in this position if you want to work in that intermediate level. We're going to hover that top leg up. Remember the knee is staying still, it's the hip that's your lever. We're coming forward and exhaling to move backwards. Let's inhale to come forward and exhale to move back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Keeping the 
waist nice and stable, lifting the ribcage all the time away from the mat, forwards and backwards again to make it more uh, beginner level, we're like this. And you can even use your hand the way I have it on the mat here for a balance. So if you feel you're really wobbly through the waist, pop that hand down, working on the endurance, forwards and backwards. Let's go for three more, forward and back, two more, forward and back. One more, forward and back. Then we'll lengthen that lever out. Start with that leg completely in line with the top hip. And we're gonna inhale to come forward, exhale to come back. Keep that control through the waist. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Lots of options, lie completely flat like this, especially if you're a complete beginner. Let's come up like this if you want if you're more of an improver and if you're more intermediate advanced level let's get up onto that elbow lifting the rib cage away from the floor let's go for two more inhale forward exhale back one more inhale forward exhale back and drop it down we should definitely be feeling that make a little fist give those muscles just a little bit of a recovery well done and we'll finish our glute sequence off with a stretch. If you do want to work a little bit harder, make this a little bit longer, then go back and do it again. Maybe do two or three sets um, of all of those exercises on each side. Um, if not, let's finish with our glute, our deep sort of buttock stretch. We'll come on to all fours, taking your hand out in front. Let's bring the right knee in front. We're going to cross the right foot over. You can bring it up nice and high. And sometimes that might be enough of a stretch. Just ensure that the two sides of your pelvis are level and you'll really feel uh, that stretch. So we don't want the pelvis to rotate like this. Keep the pelvis level and you'll feel it a lot more. And then for some people, they like to stretch right out and come down onto the forearm. So whichever you prefer. And then you'll get that nice deep buttock stretch. Making sure that you do this when you're well warmed up at the end of a workout or at the end of a walk or a jog. Um, you can hold it for about 30 seconds and do three on each side. 